Hi, I'm Melissa D. Arabian. A lot of people know me as an expert on affordable and healthy family eating, but I'm also a passionate advocate of suicide prevention. And as I share in my guidepost story, I lost my own mom to suicide when I was 20 years old. And that's an event that shook the very foundation of my life. So for a number of years now, I've been a big supporter of the American Foundation for Suicide Prevention, which is the leading not-for-profit organization dedicated to understanding and preventing suicide. Suicide is one of the top 10 leading causes of death in the United States, so we need to change the way we talk and think about suicide. Um, suicide is preventable, so I wanna raise the volume on the national conversation that we're having about suicide. A lot of people believe that if somebody is intent on taking their own life, that there's nothing that can be done, and that's not true. Interventions do save lives. In fact, 50 to 75% of people who attempt suicide actually tell somebody beforehand about their intention. And did you know that over 90% of people who attempt suicide have a diagnosable and treatable mental illness, disorder, or substance abuse issue? So we can get involved, we can prevent suicides. So how can we help somebody in need? I've learned a lot from my involvement with AFSP. First of all, listen with compassion and take all threats of suicide seriously. If someone is in immediate crisis, take them to a walk-in clinic or to the emergency room or call 911 or call the National Suicide Prevention Lifeline at 1-800-273-TALK. Many people are concerned that if they bring up their concerns that someone is thinking about suicide, that we'll just be putting the idea into their head. And that's not true. If you're concerned, go ahead and ask questions. Let the person know that you are worried about them. By doing this, you're opening up a channel of communication and that leads to possible solutions. And if somebody is in crisis, make sure you're helping them get the help that they need. And also remove any lethal means of suicide, such as weapons or prescription drugs, and keep those separate from the person in crisis. Encourage open conversations about symptoms and about solutions. Having these open conversations with medical professionals and mental health professionals is a key step in getting the help that they need and you can provide support for that person throughout the recovery process. That beginning phase of getting help can be really tricky. And then on an ongoing basis, keeping that person and you connected into the community and supported by people who love them. Also, never forget, the power of praying for that person and for their loved ones. If you are struggling or you know somebody who is, Get to know the resources and the warning signs over at AFSP.org.